How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Heel Turn Wrestling's C4 Tournament. And before we get into this gripping encounter, let me thank Cam, SC, and Super Bob for creating our characters who are going to be battling out in a tables match today. And as you can see, it will be Jim Cornette, the Louisville Lip, the Louisville Slugger himself, versus the F4W Wrestling Observer Head Honcho, Dave Meltzer, as the entrances are about to begin. And here comes Jim Cornette, sans tennis racket. Keeping it clean, very uncharacteristic of Mr. Cornett. Looking absolutely fantastic in this red and yellow combination. And anyone who follows um, uh, basically uh, Twitter or the interactions of uh, certain wrestling personalities on Twitter uh, will know that these two uh, former friends, um, both, uh, I think it's fair to say, two of if not the two greatest wrestling minds ever in terms of uh, historical knowledge and context but in the past few years there have been a very oh a very athletic uh entrance into the ring there by Cornet, very uncharacteristic um there has been a massive divide in their philosophies that has resulted in an ugly ugly Ball out now. Both these men, as we wait on uh, Dave Meltzer's entrance, both these men have very popular outlets to voice their wrestling opinions. Jim Cornette has two weekly podcasts. They are Jim Cornette's Drive Through and Jim Cornette's Experience. As Dave Meltzer makes his entrance, looking absolutely jacked. In his Los Ingenobilares of Japan t-shirt. Yes, Dave, your newsletter is number one. Although I, although I would argue, actually it's inarguable, it's actually in, uh, it's factual. Dave might have the best newsletter. Jim Cornette does have the best rated wrestling podcast. So these are two men at the absolute apex of their field. But like I was saying earlier, these two men, their opinions have resulted in an ugly, ugly fallout because there has become there has been a difference in their philosophies when it comes to professional wrestling. And these two men are going to settle it in a tables match. Now, a tables match is a very, very, very unusual stipulation for these two, both very rooted in old school as Dave Meltzer early on takes advantage with those knees to the gut but the winner of this match will be determined the first man to put his opponent through a table and if I know Jim Cornette at all well I would suggest that he would refer to this kind of match as outlaw bull feces um Jim Cornette is uh, not known for making friends as oh, Meltzer whips Cornette to the buckle. Oh, and a lovely pump kick there as Meltzer lays in the stomps on Cornette. Meltzer in fantastic shape. These are two... Oh, the yes kicks by Meltzer. Oh, oh, and the kick to the head early on. These are two men in their 60s and... I think these two men are going to show us that, you know, that they're, they're just getting better with age. Meltzer in complete control now, and it's another stomp to the gut. Yeah, these two these two have clashed, mainly over as Cornet makes his... No, it's only a brief flurry. He just got a quick punch in there. Oh, lovely face first suplex by Meltzer. He climbs to the top rope. And a lovely knee drop, reminiscent of Bobby Eaton. Jim Cornette will not thank me for saying that. Barnes carry. Where is Meltzer taking Cornette? Cornette reverses with the elbows. As Cornette picks Meltzer up in the Barnes carry, slips out behind. 
into a vertical suplex. Oh, Cornet slips behind again. Punch to the back of the head, waist lock, and Cornet deposits Meltzer back in the ring. As Meltzer goes to work. Oh, a lovely, lovely spin kick there by Big Dave Meltzer. But yeah, these two, these two have had a difference of opinion in the uh, style of wrestling they like. Uh, Jim Cornette, not known for, um, not known for just letting things, uh, letting things run off, run off of him. He's not one for uh, letting bygones be bygones. He's a very, very, very uh, opinionated gentleman, and uh, so is Dave. And um, yeah, the the basic crux of this this um, feud, if you like, it has been Jim Cornette has a long-standing dislike of the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega uh, for, pers for for personal as well as professional reasons. Lovely urinagi there by Dave Meltzer, who's on his way out to get a chair, a table, excuse me. Uh, whereas Dave Meltzer has uh, championed not only their style of wrestling but them as people for a uh, a long time, and um, uh, the only winners really in this situation are the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega because these two men have literally ended a 35-year friendship uh, due to them. So um, whether you believe the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega are uh, pot stirrers or not um that uh fact is as far as this situation goes they did stir the pot even if it was inadvertently but i'll leave you to decide whether it was or not as Meltzer is setting up cornet for a he's going for a suplex this could win it fisherman suplex and dave Meltzer picks up a win in rapid order over Jim Cornette, Dave Meltzer will advance to our Champions Rumble to do battle with the likes of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, He-Man, Micah Bell from Red Dead Redemption 2 and many more. Dave Meltzer is the winner here and only two stars given for this match. If it had been in the Tokyo Dome, I'm sure it would have got at least four that's a Wrestling Observer joke. Ha ha. Guys, thank you so much once again for tuning in to us here at Heel Turn Wrestling. Hit the notification bell to keep in touch with us on all of our new content. Please like this video. Please share this video. And please subscribe to the channel. It really, really does help us out. Thank you once again, guys. We will be back very soon with another contest in our c4 championship tournament take care guys catch you on the next video